In the violent game of football, Reggie Bush played it with grace and grit. Reggie Bush, left side, look out! 30, 20, 10, forget it! Reggie Bush, touchdown! And not just good, one of the greatest college athletes of all time. He's quick and fast. You don't get quick and fast often. First day I put football in my hands, I knew I wanted to go play in the NFL. And when I was in high school, I said I was going to win the Heisman Trophy. Is that right? Yes. The University of Southern California fighting Trojans were in the midst of an epic run. They were college football royalty. And Reggie Bush, it's golden boy. A mixture made for Hollywood. His movie star smile, a gladiator in cleats. The Trojans capturing back-to-back -back national championships in the early 2000s. Bush ultimately winning the most prestigious award in college football, the Heisman. The winner is Reggie Bush. But the accolades all came crashing down amid allegations that Bush received thousands of dollars in financial perks as a student athlete, violating NCAA rules. So for me, being labeled a cheater, um, you know, with no proof of that, it was one of the toughest things I ever had to deal with, you know, because my entire upbringing, I've been raised to stand on the truth. The NCAA investigated, alleging Bush and his family received improper cash and perks like free housing, eventually leveling harsh sanctions against USC. A lot of observers felt as if the punishment that came down to USC was far and beyond uh, what the investigation found in terms of infractions. They wanted to make an example out of USC. So fundamentally, the allegation was that you cheated. True, false? False, and no proof of it. Under a cloud of suspicion, Bush forfeited his Heisman in 2010, the first and only player ever to do so. What made you decide to give the Heisman back? And one of the narratives that they are sticking to is that I volunteered it back. But why would I do that? I was stuck because I didn't know what to do. And I couldn't believe this was happening to me because I had earned it. How hurt were you by that when that happened? Did you shed a tear? Oh, I was you... messed up. With his reputation tarnished, Bush says he lost out on lucrative endorsements, brand deals, and sponsorships. Losing it, what do you think cost you? Millions, millions of dollars, easy. Now, almost 20 years later, a reversal of fortune and a shot at redemption. In April, the Heisman Trust choosing to give back Bush's trophy, in part due to the 2021 Supreme Court ruling allowing college athletes to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness, or NIL for short. There it is. There it is. What's yes, that, sir? sir? Reggie Bush, University of Southern California, 2005. And this is the original trophy? It's just been in storage, I guess. <laughs> That's what they told me. <laughs> Surrounding him at the ceremony, a fraternity of past Heisman winners. We're all there to support me, guys who had signed off, you know, on me getting the trophy back. I love seeing that. It's a moment almost no one could have predicted years ago, when the scandal at USC blew up shortly after Bush's Heisman winning season. By 2010, the NCAA investigation muzzled USC with a two-year postseason ban, slash 30 scholarships, and vacated 14 game wins over two successful seasons, including a championship. The university also forced to disassociate from Bush for 10 years. As a young kid, I mean, that's a pretty heavy, steep penalty. Those 30 scholarships. You knew in that moment there were kids who may never had the chance to play college football because of yeah. something you allegedly did. Well, that what, pains you. Think about this as a penalty. I'm going to penalize kids who have nothing to do with your situation. They don't know you. They weren't even at the school same time period as you. And their opportunities are being taken away. Last year, Bush going on the offensive, filing a defamation lawsuit against the NCAA after a spokesperson released a statement in 2021 suggesting that Bush engaged in pay-for-play type arrangements, an allegation not included in their 2010 investigation. So what's the goal? NCAA said I was paid to play. Okay, let's go see. Because I know those facts don't exist. And they know those facts don't exist. So I'm interested to see what story or what they create. I got my trophy. I'm in the Hall of Fame. But I'm still technically not reinstated by the NCAA. 
And so that's also a portion of what this is about. ABC News reached out, but the NCAA declined to comment on Bush's lawsuit. In a motion to dismiss the lawsuit, the NCAA said it found Bush and his family accepted cash, housing, appliances, and more from third parties while he was a student at USC. And these impermissible benefits were and are commonly understood to be pay for play under NCAA rules. Where do I go? You got a, a, a phone number for where I can go get my reputation back? Is there a hotline? You know, it's the damage is done. So when you talk about people who turned their back on you, I would, I would imagine you're talking about some of the administration, maybe your head coach, Pete Carroll? Mm hmm yeah. What's your relationship like with him now? I don't have a relationship with him at all. We don't talk. Why? He just completely disappeared. I was literally on my own, you know, as a 20-year-old kid, you know, trying to figure this thing out. I got no help, no support um, from the people closest to me at that time that I thought were going to be the first ones in my corner. Pete Carroll left to coach the Seattle Seahawks in January 2010 during the NCAA's investigation of USC. Pete Carroll was able to leave USC, go right into the NFL, and still be considered a great college coach and a great NFL coach without anyone really asking whether or not he was a cheater, even though uh, he uh, was the person where the butt was supposed to stop during the running of his program. In a statement about Bush, Carroll told ABC News, the way I look at it now is nobody stepped up enough, and I wish I could have helped. The university and all of us took a hit, but because of the Heisman, Reg got singled out way more than the rest of us. We're all thrilled he at least got back to this point and deserves every bit of that recognition. Reggie Bush, left side, look out! Never in dispute Bush's talent on the field. After college, he was a top pick in the NFL draft. The New Orleans Saints select Reggie Bush. The unique thing about that time period is going on when I was being drafted to New Orleans. And I got there. Uh, five months after Katrina. In September 2005, Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans. Thousands of displaced residents stranded at the Saints' home, the Superdome. Suddenly, a city needed heroes, and an NFL rookie needed a cause greater than himself. And so here I am dealing with being labeled a cheater and being stripped of all my records and all these things. And on the other side, I'm thrusted into a situation where you have a, an entire city that is looking uh, for hope anywhere. The throw. And Bush delivered in games like the 2006 NFC Championship against Chicago. Can anybody catch Bush? He's the fastest guy in the field, and nobody will. 20, 15, 10, 5, bye-bye, baby. Later helping the Saints beat the Colts in the 2010 Super Bowl. He's sealing the deal to make the New Orleans Saints Super Bowl champs for the first time ever. Bush stayed in New Orleans for four years before being traded to Miami, Detroit, San Francisco, and finally Buffalo, reportedly earning more than $60 million during his 11-year long NFL career. Have you ever thought to wonder how much money Reggie Bush would have gotten if NIL had been around? There's millions. <laughs> There's a no-brainer. Overall, what's your impression of NIL? It's one more trick. It's one more way for the NCAA to say all football players are taken care of. They're all making money now. See, it's good, it's all good now. It's a trick, man. So NIL works for the star player of the team. Today, top college athletes can earn tens of thousands of dollars in name, image, and likeness deals with stars like Bronny James, Caitlin Clark, and Shadour Sanders making millions. But Bush believes college athletes need more than just monetary support. College football likes to, to press that narrative that the head coach is now going to be this father figure. And the coaches are the pimps. The coaches are the ones who are exploiting the kids. That's harsh, bro. Calling college football coaches pimps? So the college football coaches make millions of dollars. Who is it paid for by? Blood, sweat, and tears. By the players, the athletes. <laughs> Reconciling his past, Bush is now venturing into fashion with his golf clothing line, Travis Matthew. I'm a huge golfer. I have found so much peace in golf for my mental health. And still grateful for all he's got. I have amazing support, you know, from my wife, my kids. So when one of your kids asked the question of Reggie Bush, so dad, how good were you? What's the answer? <laughs> I just say I've 
pretty good. That's it. I don't ever say like, oh, it was the best ever. You know, that's just not me.